What's happening, Tube Nation? Facebook fam, what's going on? What's going on? I've been waiting for this for a little minute. Another package in the mail, similar to the one I had about three or four weeks back. <clears throat> yes. Put it aside for some more soaps. Shout out to Herbal Suicles. Got to tell me. Now, it's, I, I meant to say something about that. About my order. My order now. <clears throat> process. When it comes to ordering certain items, um, I'm and since I'm going to go out, more fresh. But, alright, so this is going to be a review of the elevating soap, elevating green soap, slash premium unwrapping, if you will, of some different soaps that I purchased from um, so, before we jump into here, okay, the elevating green soap. I love the smell. I love the way it felt on my skin. Uh, the piles on that, ain't, I ain't nothing like that, but um, it was a nice soap. It wasn't too strong. It didn't leave this hard smelling on my skin. It didn't dry me out like uh, I got some. Uh, <coughs> What's that uh, with the red container? I don't even know the name. Uh, God, Old Spice. Old Spice. That's what I got. I got the Old Spice. Uh, smells great. Smells awesome. But dries the skin out. I usually use Dove, but uh, uh, I don't know. Dove don't work that well either. But this soap did not dry my skin out. Smelled awesome. I was able to use it all the way through, even though it had actually had hemp leaves in it. Um, they just kind of like dissolved as, as I was using the soap. It wasn't like this big, thick, green, leafy uh, piece of hemp that was in there. It was, you could tell it was real plant that was in there as I was you know, using the soap. You could feel the, the stem and everything like that. That's the only thing you probably have to get accustomed to. But other than that, I, it's all like normal. I, I had a, about a good week's worth of use out of it. I, I took a shower every day, uh, and no problem. You know, once you know, like also, once you get to the very end, it gets real thin. It just kind of cracks up in your hand, and uh, that's it. But <clears throat> it felt real good. So much so that I was like, you know what? Let me see what else they have. So let's pop up in here, and uh, let's just we're gonna beat your hair and just grab something random. Man, I bought four different kinds. Oh no, that's all in one package. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they sent me, of course, the uh, okay, okay, you sent me a different color. Thank you, you're very welcome, very welcome, love. Uh, and I bought, I ordered these directly from her website, herbaceuticals.com. It's herbaceuticals with a K. Let's get this pamphlet up in here so you can see it. Check it out. Bam. Small batch hand poured herbal skin and body love herbal suticles you can see across the top with the K. Check them out. No inactive ingredients, no fillers. I love that. I love that. No inactive, nothing that only can be in here. So I'm gonna put all these links in the description below. Of course, you know how we do it. Try to support black business and make it happen. You know, I'm be honest. I purchased my stuff. I don't get nothing free. Gotta be honest, honest. Now, okay, that's a big bag for you, boy. So let's pull one of these soaps out. Let's check out the labels so that we've got. Soothing lavender soap. Let's bring this in so we can see it. An exfoliating coconut based glycerin soap. Like, it's like the elevated green soap. With coconut carbon, oats, and lavender essential oils. Hmm. So, mm, okay, okay, all right. I might sneak this one out to wife. The wife likes that. I might let her get this up, and then y'all can get a one perspective on one of these products, but most definitely it's gonna have to be used. So got that. Ah. Okay, got different. Go. Calendula coconut soap. Let's bring it in. So we got. A soothing coconut oh, it's not so it's like A soothing coconut glycerin soap with calendula flowers, uranium, and other essential oils. Okay, all right. <clears throat> now we got 
coconut black soap. You know, I can change the world. An exfoliating coconut base uh, glycerin soap with coconut carbon, frankincense, and geranium essential oils. Hold on, I didn't smell the last one. I smell it. It's kind of soaked through a little bit. I got a little warm. A little heat. A little heat, but it still feels solid. So, big thing in there. You might have got a little heat in the back. So, oh yeah. Now, this one, the Calabula, smells really, really similar to the uh, Elevated Green Soap that I had a um, few weeks back. It smells really, really similar. Lavender, you can most definitely smell the lavender. So smell this one. Frankincense. I don't know what frankincense smell like, but I'm pretty sure I just smelled that. Um, it does. It, it's a light because the coconut glycerin base. Um, they use in there. You can still they, they smell similar, but I can smell that frankincense. I believe that's frankincense. Oh, this is good. Then we got the last one. This is much really awkward. Pretty much song. Okay. Coconut Neem, Neem, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Neem. So, exfoliating coconut based glycerin soap with powder Neem leaf, acholi, and tea tree essential oils. Now, Neem leaf and acholi, I need to look that up, you guys. I probably looked it up and put um, these plants, all these other plants in the description. So, you know. But the, I probably, you know, I probably put the links in each of, for each of one of these uh, plants that I, even I don't know of in the script, so you know. So let's give it a smell test real quick. Okay, it smells different. Doesn't smell great compared to these three, but it smells like so. It smells like something that they use on your body. So good, people. <clears throat> we have four different soaps uh, this time around. We got the soothing lavender soap, calendula, coconut soap, coconut black soap, and the coconut neem soap. <clears throat> and uh, I want to know which ones you guys I think I should start with first. So let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter at G J R S O D E R S. That's Junior Soders, not Soders. Hit me up on Instagram as well. At Junior Soldiers. Every day I'm trying to live right. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm gonna um, I might have to get back to you on that one. Thankful for put the little link up in there so you guys can see it and get a chance to go ahead and let me know what you think. I love that they send this little pamphlets of information on different herbs and what they can do. Um, and while we're speaking on any more pharmaceuticals, rest in peace to Dr. Sebi. Um, I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt they murdered their brother because of the work he was doing. Um, he wasn't about pimping people for the medicines and, and uh, treatments and all this and other use, you know, getting people what they needed to get hit well and not try to put them on a treatment plan and pimp them for the rest of your life when I always feel like it's fun for me. Now, with me saying that, uh, it might be the first and the last time I say that, but I'd rather die uh, standing as a man and die or, or even live uh, with my head bowed like a coward. And it is what it is, man. Peace and love and blessings to everyone, including the haters. Till we meet again, I say. All right, good people, real, real quick. Um, another thing about herbaceuticals, if you are trying to order multiple bars of soap at once, I would highly suggest going to her website because she'll charge, uh, you only get uh, one flat shipping rate uh, for the entire order. If you order through webuyblack.com, it's not quite set up yet to where you can put multiple items on one, um, on one shipping charge. It'll charge you shipping per uh, a shipping charge per item, <clears throat> and that was my experience. So I hit up the seller. She told me she had a website. I went to the website. Just a little FYI. Now, if you're just trying to go and buy one bar of soap and you're trying to see it and test it out for yourself, most definitely use WeBuyBlack.com. It gives it exposure. Uh, uh, this, that, and the third, of course. Now, nah. um, also, I'm not sure the stuff going on, but at the time of this. Um, Feel free to donate to WeBuyBlack.com. They're trying to add services to uh, their website. So you can, uh, for like, let's say, a single mom, uh, she can go on the website and find a mechanic that's in her area, a trusted mechanic, a reputable mechanic in her area, and probably get a car worked on for a lot less than what she would go for anywhere else. Where they would try to 
lie to her and say, oh, you know, your spark plug belt needs to be changed. And nobody, you know, everybody knows there's no such thing as spark plug belt. So if you're ordering multiple bars of soap like I did, go to the website, go to herbaceuticals.com. Um, now, if you're ordering just one bar and you just want to get one bar, go to webuyblack.com because you just one bar. Now, I don't know when webuyblack.com may not be aware of this issue, um, but I was able to contact the seller. I love that that feature. Shout out to webuyblack.com for that feature. And hopefully, that can get resolved. Uh, the shipping costs per bar uh, so can, can get resolved where it just comes in as one uh on one order it gets the one shipping price so that's all i'd say on that just a little tidbit to add on to the video let you guys know what's going on peace and i'll say